Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do to get this project underway is to download and extract the resources that we need. So, if you use the link that you'll be able to find below the video, uh, you'll be able to download this zip file which is called Motion Paths. Once that's downloaded, the first thing you will need to do is to extract it. Now, the easiest way to do that within Windows is to just right click on it and go to Extract All and just click Extract. And that will lead to, there we go, we get a folder. So what I'm going to do, I think I'll just take that folder out of there because I now have two folders called Motion Paths. There we go. And now if I open this folder, I can see all of my um, project folders that I will need. So as you can see, um, it comes with a Maya scene as well as in the Source Images uh, folder some of the textures that we'll be using for this project. So once you've downloaded and extracted it, you need to be in Maya. And of course, the first thing that you always want to be doing is going to File, Set Project. Oh, wrong window. File, Set Project. And then for me, it's on Desktop, Motion Paths. And I'm going to click on Set. Once that's done, I can now click on File, Open Scene. And that'll take me to the Spitfire for Animation scene that we'll be working with. Click on Open. Give it a sec, it'll have a little think, and then you can see we've got a simple model of a Spitfire ready to animate with. What you'll notice is that it comes in two pieces. We've got the main body of the plane and separate propellers, um, so it's already set up for kind of basic animation. Okay, so if you've made it to the end of this video, I'm going to assume that you've managed to get the plane open in Maya with your textures applied, uh, and that means that you're ready to set this up for animation in the next video. I will see you there.